In this tutorial, I am going to show you a couple of fall trends for hair and nails using products and tools available at Sally Beauty. Starting with my three-day-old wash and go, I am going to create the very cute on-trend half bun. I'm going to section my hair with the one and only Professional Argan Ceramic Rat Tail Comb, Salon Care Super Croco Clips, and DCNL Scrunchies. First, I will part my hair from ear to ear across the crown closer to the hairline so that the hair I leave out in the back will be at the peak of the crown. I will use a croco clip to hold the front while I scrunchie the back. These tools definitely help me organize my sectioning. When you have a lot of hair, good tools to keep it organized makes the process much easier and faster. Now I am going to apply Made Beautiful True Styling Cream to moisturize and smooth my curls. This sulfate and paraben free cream is very lightweight with a juicy sort of texture, making it very easy to absorb. It has coconut oil, shea and mango butters, and one of my favorite ingredients, aloe vera juice, all combined in a very clean citrus scent. This cream feels amazing on my hands and hair. It's my first time with this brand and so far, I like. Next, I am going to apply Myel Organics Honey and Ginger Edge Gel. This one is a super flexible hold. It's unlike any other edge gel I have tried in that it functions like a gel with smooth hold, but like a paste with a fast dry. Once applied, it does not feel wet or sticky as most edge gels initially do. It has honey, lavender, castor oil, ginger oil, and my fave, aloe juice combined for lasting hold that is able to be re-wet and set in the days after. I'm really liking this gel. Now it's time to smooth it all together with my Denman Natural Boar Bristle Grooming Brush and pony it up with the scrunchie. This is the small version of the grooming brush, which I love for tasks like this. And it's just so darn little and cute. This brush has a comfy ergonomic grip, flexible pad, and quality bristles. I have tons of Denman tools and they are all equally amazing. I am going to make my bun with Mega Grip Premium Bob Pins. I am simply going to wrap, tuck, and pin around my scrunchie. It is important to have a very light touch and a gentle hand on this so the hair is smooth and you don't disturb the base of the style. It also helps to allow your natural curls to create the bulk in the bun so it sits high and even. Make sure when inserting bob pins, the wavy short side is facing the scalp. This helps hold more hair securely so you don't have to use so many pins. And these pins are awesome because they have a nice grip with rust resistant coating, so they stand up to all the oily products we like to use for styling. Now I am going to use Antonio's Styling Fan Fist Pick to fluff the hair in the back. This pick is specifically made with natural hair in mind. It has very long steel teeth for easy styling and smooth, frizz-free lifting. To finish this off, I am using Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hair Sheen. It has sweet almond oil, shea butter, wheat germ, and jojoba oil to condition and add lasting shine, amazing fragrance, and is great for any style. And that's it. In less than 10 minutes, I was able to morph my old wash and go into a very cute, trendy style that is perfect for fall. Here's a little fact about me. I absolutely love nail stuff, all of it. I actually keep my own nails manicured at home with OPI's Axiom Gel System. Now, when it comes to polish formula plus shape of brush, OPI is top notch. I am going to show you a cute nail design using three colors from the new OPI Washington DC collection. Shush is top secret, squeaker of the house, and Susie the first lady of nails. Starting on freshly manicured nails with base coat applied, I am going to start with squeaker of the house and paint a little more than halfway down my pinky. I will do the same with the other two colors alternating across my fingers. Here's a pro tip. Only paint with one side of the brush and dip back in for more polish when needed instead of flipping the brush over in your hand. This makes it a smoother stroke. Also, use a thin layer to do a second coat if needed. That prevents you from having gloopy thick polish. Now I am going to use Beauty Secrets Pure Acetone Nail Tease Precision Beauty Tool and a glass dappen dish to clean up. It is so much easier to remove excess polish from the skin along the way than to wait until it's all done and dry. At this point, it isn't set, so it'll wipe away very easily. 
I am going to take Susie, the first lady of nails, and paint a diagonal line across my pinky, covering a bit of the first layer, leaving the very tip uncovered. I will follow the same diagonal pattern on the remaining four nails. The trick to painting without stencils and tape is to use quality polish with a strong brush. That is why I like OPI. The firmness of this brush keeps it from fanning out and making a mess. However, you do have to have some natural dexterity in your hands to keep you steady, but you are more likely to get a straight line with a quick, deliberate, light swipe versus a hard pressing slow one. For the third and final layer, I will take a diagonal line the opposite direction to cover the tip of my pinky with Shush is Top Secret and complete the other four nails with their remaining color. Make sure you coat the very outer tip of the nail to seal it all together and apply a second light coat of color if you need it. On the left, you see the hand I just did with the three colors. On the right, you see a finished hand with OPI's matte top coat. This top coat has a smooth, velvety finish and dries quickly, making a very rich, smooth surface. Make sure you have let your nails dry a bit before applying to prevent streaking. I let mine sit for about 10 minutes. I am going to apply two coats of matte top coat because the first will show any little spots I may have missed around the cuticle area. And I always apply two layers of top coat since my hands are in water and product a lot. Total time on this nail design was about 45 minutes. The Washington DC collection from OPI has 12 new shades made to be a twist on traditional fall colors, mixing historical with cosmopolitan. There are so many beautiful color palettes you can create. As a matter of fact, Sally Beauty has hundreds of shades of hair color, nail polish, and other cosmetics under $10 to help you create your fall look. We all want to look fly, trendy, and polished from season to season, and Sally Beauty has got you covered. You can find all of the products and tools used in this tutorial in Sally Beauty stores or online at sallybeauty.com. You can find links in the about section below and see everything used in a step-by-step -step pictorial at monoshair.com slash fall trends. <laughs>